Hello and welcome to Avenging Pass 7. This is year 2, day 2 of our free to play farming guide. And Logan, thank you for pointing that out that it's not year 1, day 2, it's year 2, day 2. I didn't even cross my mind when I typed that in that that would have been inaccurate. Um Let's see. And Sierra Sonic, I think you're right. We are going to start Uh, building up some of our Darth Revan requirements. As you can see, let's see, let me do this real quick. Uh, we are in the middle of phase five. Um, the last, I think it's the last thing that we are farming is, let's see, I'm going to do something off screen real quick. But we're in the middle of phase five, and I think the last thing we have to do for phase five is farm Bastila Fallen. So we're going to check that real quick and be sure. But I'm pretty sure that that is the last thing that we have to farm. Um, so let's see, we started that journey. So now we can go over here to the collection and journey guide. <clears throat> and just be sure. Juhani is good. Candorus is good. Karth is good. HK is good. So yeah, it is just Bastila Fallen. So I guess... We've already started or unlocked Candorus, so we'll take him all the way up to 7 star and level 85 and start getting his abilities and gear built up. So, you know, we're we're going to start working on that. Get Darth Revan somewhat soon. Maybe be able to put him on defense for Grand Arena at some point soon. We'll get there. We're not too far away. And on gear 2, we get stuck. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and request that, because I know we're probably going to need a lot of those. <laughs> it looks like my main account is short on those as well. Let's see, we'll buy two of them. And we'll farm some of those up. Well, come on. There we go. All right, I guess 18. Hopefully that's enough for what we need out of them. All right, gear 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we got stuck again. All right, we only need one of these. All right, we can easily buy that. Oh, we got stuck on something. All right, we need nine of these. All right, there we go. Yes, yeah, so let's see. All right, gear eight, I guess isn't the worst thing. I know CR, I'm pretty sure CR Sonic commented what I want all of these people to be at gear wise. So I'll, at some point I'll probably go and look at that. I don't know if we really want need him to be Mandalorian. For each Mandalorian, Old Republic and Scoundrel. Okay, whenever Kandra steals damage, deals damage to an enemy, he inflicts damage over time. Yeah, we do want that. Um, because I assume, if I'm remembering correctly. The Darth Revan requirements are a lot more useful in the game than the Jedi Knight Revan requirements, which is why it's better to go after Darth Revan first than Jedi Knight Revan. Because for Jedi Knight Revan requirements, Bastila Jolie and Jedi Knight Revan are super useful. But Zalbar and Mission and T3, I don't think I've really used them almost at all since building them up and I didn't really build them up very much when I unlocked Jedi Knight Revan on the main account I think I had I'm not sure if I had started the main account by then CR Sonic might have been one of the people to give me advice on that one um Let's see, what is stopping me over here? 
here we go. Um, but I remember it's somehow learning that I really don't need to build up the Mission Salbar T3 too much for that one. And so I didn't. I just built up Bastila and Jolie and got through the got through it and we were all good. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Darth Revan event is similar. Let's see, we got him to get, can we get him to gear eight at least? That would be nice if we can. Um, so here's a question that I have hit a bit of a wall on the main account is relics. The wall that I've hit are the gear materials to farm the pieces, the gear pieces for relics. What is the easiest, best way for, oops, at least relics one through three to farm up those, those gear pieces? Because I found that I am very low on the main gear pieces to get to 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 farm the relic gear pieces if that makes sense um that's what i'm kind of hitting a wall with right now on the main account so if you have any advice on which ones are the best for each of those pieces and what's the best way to farm those up I will be happy to hear your thoughts on that. Alright, let's see. We're still doing okay with our credits. And that's good. Let's see, there is that. And we hit a wall. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, that's awful right there. Nothing. There we go. There's four. There's six. Alright, we got him to the eight. I don't know how great HK is, but I would think he's pretty good. And he'll be helpful. Oops. Helpful with any droid teams I have to have at some point between Conquest and. Let's see, he did, I don't need his leader. And the uh, Galactic Challenges. So there's three of them up to a point, and now we got Juhani. So we are, I guess, technically two days away from Ahsoka right now. And I don't think anyone really knows what to expect for this next episode. I know that... Uh, Star Wars Theory has his theories for what's to come. I don't know if I have any theories. I just... I'm... I'm excited for the next episode. But... I'm just kind of waiting to see what does Dave Filoni have planned. I think that, um... A big thing that Ahsoka has dealt with for a while has been that she failed Anakin. She failed the Jedi Order. She failed Sabine. Um, 
probably feels like she failed Ezra. And there's probably other people that she feels like she failed. Um, but I think the big one is that she failed Anakin. And so, now being face-to-face -face with Anakin again, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, that's the big conversation that Dave Filoni wants to focus on, is whether she failed Anakin or not, and how to deal with that. I think that Dave Filoni knows how to write really good episodes about dealing with X. How, you know, a character has come across emotions and how to deal with that. Which I think that's one of the fantastic things about Star Wars. about Well, about just fiction in general is how to deal with emotions, how to, you know, how to deal with conflict, how to deal with friendship, how to deal, you know, with anything, really. And I think that Dave Filoni understands that that's what stories are. They're, they're lessons. They're entertainment, but they're also at the same time, they are lessons to teach you how to deal with something. And... You know, and I, I think that that's what his goal is with this show, is how does how does Ahsoka deal with failure? How to learn how to deal with failure. failure. And I think that that's exciting. I do. I think that that's exciting, um, and I'm excited to see what they do with that. So, that's my expectation. Whew. That's my expectation for the show. All right, we are now what is that? Eleven Zeta mats away from a nut from our next Zeta. That's not bad. So, what I mentioned earlier about relics. Let me try and bring that up. So, like right here, going for the carbonite circuit board. I only have five now on this account. I mean, I got plenty of these, but those are only worth one. And, like, these that are worth three, I don't have that many of. What is the easiest to farm? And what's the easiest to collect, to build up, to collect, to get a lot of circuit boards? Same thing for bronzium wiring. Um, what's the easiest way to farm whichever of these gear pieces, and, use, and which ones should I be using to collect the bronzium wiring, circuit boards, chromium transistors. That's what I need to learn because the main account is struggling with that. Um, and the main account's str just struggling with that just because I've been focusing on so many other things that I haven't been focusing on that, but I, then I need them when it comes to when it comes time to relic someone and build up their relic. So. Whatever suggestions you have for that, I am always happy to hear. And let's see, we got a few more minutes so we can go. Um, but yeah, it's been going. It's going well. I've been enjoying it. Uh, let's see, what else has been going on? Not much else. Not much else has been going on, but it's been good. I got, uh, I know I mentioned it yesterday. Let's see, there's another two Zetas. Perfect. I know I mentioned it yesterday. I need to go through and edit together and post the uh, single video of the Star Wars New Hope review because we have recorded it now. It's all together. I just need to get that posted. If you do want to see it anyways, um, it is a part of the uh, live that we did back on Saturday. So if you plan to watch that, you, then you'll see our review, you'll see our thoughts. If not, just hold on a little bit and we'll get that uh, posted as its own video on YouTube soon enough. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do these two arena battles that should knock out all of our daily activities, and then we'll have to wrap it up. Ooh. 
I'm not ready to be awake yet. And the last one. Um, what else? I mean, our farm is going pretty well. We're almost at the end of Phase 5, then we'll be entering Phase 6. Which, with Phase 6, we might be just about halfway through Phase 6. I'm not sure. We'll have to check. Because um, Phase 6 is going after Darth Revan some good people to put with Darth Revan and then be getting range trooper which will be very nice for our uh, Imperial Troopers team and then go beginning to go after or finishing out our Jedi Knight Revan farm we'll finish our Jedi Knight Revan farm and then we'll be going after Malak in phase 7 and then in phase 7 is also the Ewoks and C-3PO so, like, we're starting to hit, you know, we're getting towards the, you know, later half of the farming guide. It's, that's exciting. We are, uh, quite a bit away, I, I believe, but we're getting there. And, you know, what's actually interesting is my main account is, let's see, my main account is, is actually rather close to the end of, this farming guide um my main account has everything that the farming guide suggests except the darth revan requirements that is interesting missing a few things but yeah so i think we will wrap it up there but I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. And, and as always, may the Force be with you.